Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the audio to MIDI drum trigger plugin in Reaper. Now, this plugin can be used to replace our drums or our individual drums with drum samples. So, the project in front of us here with a kick track, a snare track, and some overheads. Let's see what it sounds like. So in a sample replace, our kick and snare. So let's go to the effects on our kick track. I'm gonna go down here to our JS plugins. And in our filter, let's type in drum. And right over here is the plugin, audio to MIDI drum trigger. Let's add this and let's go through the parameters. The first two options here, decide at what threshold the audio on this track is gonna trigger a MIDI node. It's going to open at minus 17 and close at minus 18. Now, a great way of choosing what to set this to is to select the audio, go to View, and go down here to Transient Detection Settings. Then choose this option right here, Display Threshold in Media Items. So now if we bring the threshold down, two horizontal lines show up over here and here. So we can use these to set our threshold. If we bring it low enough, make sure it grabs all our kicks. If we go too high, it might miss some of them. And if you go too low, it might create double triggers. We get two samples for each hit. So let's bring it back up to about here. Make sure it gets every hit. And notice it's set to minus 5.9. Now let's go back to our plugin and set this to minus 5.9. We'll do the same for closing it, and that should be a good setting to start with. Next, we could choose the retrigger interval. This only needs to be set if we're hearing double triggers. If we're getting double triggers, bring this up, but if the drum is playing very fast notes, you might need to set this quicker so you get them all. Let's leave it at the default. Then we can choose the mix. By default, we're just getting our sample. So if we play it now, we don't hear the original drum. If we bring it up, we do. So we're only gonna to wanna to use this if we wanna mix the sample with the original sound. For this, I just wanna hear the sample. So I'll leave this all the way to the left. Then we can choose our MIDI channel. For this part, it's not that important. So we can leave it at 10, which is a standard MIDI channel for drums. Then we can choose our MIDI note which I don't need to change right now, as we're gonna put a sampler right on this track. So there's only gonna be one note to choose. And if we do mix in the original drum, we could readjust the timing of our trigger so we can line them up. So now we need something to receive the MIDI note. So let's add a sampler to this track. I'm gonna use the one that comes with Reaper, the Resample-Matic 5000, which is a sample player that'll play back one sample at a time. So let's go to my directory, and here's some samples. Here's a kick. So let's drag this one into here. So now it should play this sample. And it does. If you want to adjust the velocity so it's sensitive to louder and lower notes, we could adjust it here. But I'm going to leave it full up. We can adjust the notes. Well, that's not really important because in this mode, sample ignores MIDI note. It's going to play the same pitch no matter what note is being played. That's why we didn't have to change it over here. We can leave it at 69. And everything else can be left as is. Let's hear it sounds with the rest of the tracks. Before, and after. So 
So now we have a sample replacing this kick part. So we've turned this audio into MIDI and triggered a sample to this plugin. Let's do the same thing with our snare. Again, let's start off by selecting this. Let's go to the View menu and choose Transient Detection Settings. Adjust this so we get every hit. This is too high. Right about there looks good. Let's check out our fill over here. Each hit, that looks good. So it's set to minus 4.3. Let's go to our plugin, JS plugins, and choose drum. Add this one, set this to minus 4.3 for both. Let's add that sample player right here. But this time we'll put in a snare right here. Let's just drag it in. And that should play that sample. And it does. Let's turn the track. Before. And after. Now, if you don't want to use a separate sample player on each track, maybe you have drum software that you want to use instead. Let me show you that way. Let's start off by deleting this. We'll keep the trigger on each track. We'll get rid of the sample. Let's create a new track. And in this track, let's add some drum software. Go to the effects, go to our instruments, and I'm going to choose Easy Drummer right here. And you could use any one you want. It should work about the same. Let's say you want to trigger this software instead. Using this kick and this snare, we could do that by sending those tracks to this plugin and adjusting the MIDI note. So let's start with the kick. Let's drag the routing from our kick track to this track. Where the software is, we don't need to send audio, so let's turn this off. We're just going to send MIDI. So we'll choose MIDI channel 10. And that could send to all MIDI channels. So now we're sending the MIDI output from this plugin right here to this track and this plugin. But there's one problem. We have to set up the note. If we do it right now, let's solo it. It's playing the snare. Because the MIDI note right here is a snare note. So let's change this to 36 which is a C2, that should play the kick. And it does. Now let's do the same thing for our snare. Let's drag the routing to this track. We don't need the audio. We'll send MIDI for MIDI channel 10 to all channels. And we'll change this note to be 38 which is a D2, which should be the snare. Let's hear that. Perfect. Now if we're hearing double hits, we can readjust our re-trigger interval. But this sounds pretty good. Let's hear it in the track. Before, and after. So each track is sending MIDI to trigger this drum software. So it's a pretty useful plugin for creating MIDI notes from our drum audio. So that's pretty much it. That's the Audio to MIDI Drum Trigger plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!